I love using rubrics and I love Google Classroom, but adding a rubric using the button when I create an assignment can be such a hassle. But with this little hack, you can have rubrics in seconds. Check this out. All right, I'm in Google Classroom and I've made my assignment. And I'm gonna actually ignore the rubric for right now. And instead, I'm gonna head over to this template that we have. Now, it no, I know it says that it's recommended that you don't edit rubrics in the spreadsheet, but if you know the secret of the cells and that's which ones you can type into, then you're good to go. And so we have taken this cell, 3A, and we can give our title. Right here is where we can give our description. And then the only other place that we're gonna edit is where it says type partial mastery or actually mastery criteria here. So I'm gonna come right here. I have my rubric that I've developed with my team. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that mastery, copy it and paste it right in to that cell. And there is my criteria. Now I'd continue with the criteria for each of my other levels, but actually I've already got one right here for sequencing that I have finished. And so once I have my spreadsheet finished, now I come to the button for rubrics, go down to import from sheets, find my sequencing that is finished, add it, and in seconds, I have all the information right there needed to be able to use this rubric when I check my students' work. I'm gonna save it right here. I'm also gonna change my points to a four point scale and it's time to assign to my students. Now when I grade it, I'll be able to look at it in Google Classroom and mark their, uh, their criteria using this rubric right while I'm looking at it.